I accidentally started. Oh, well, hey guys, welcome to my channel. I edited Pops. I'm Josh. <laughs> and this couch is very uncomfortable. Uh, before I show off uh, Pops, what I got today, my wife got me for uh, for Christmas. The other one was, uh, I got on New Year's. I keep forgetting to show off. I was going to talk about Funko to begin with and us fans. So last year, Funko released 3,000. I should have wrote it down. I don't remember the exact number. I think it was 3,000. 83 products. I don't know if it's pops, but that's a lot. Not last year. 2019. At 2020, we're all screaming, uh, you know, scale it back, don't release as much, uh, don't do as many numbers. And guys, they listen because. These guys right here, they're hard to find. They're hard to get to these uh these black light pops. I was lucky enough to get this one in store. It was, like I said, I keep saying, or like I said in one video, it was the last one. And I did ask uh Target you know, if they were getting more. They said uh no. I asked the other target that I go to if they were good to need more because they had different black light stuff. They said no. So you guys also know I'm not making so much of these? Well, they did that too. Or so much of not just these guys, just other Funko products in general. And you actually went there to go get the Captain American one because you wanted that one the most. I know, they released find that it. day, and I guess I should have went earlier that day. Um, last year, 2020, they released 2,576. No, so, 506, 2,085 to 2,576. So, 507 less than 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm. 7 or 8 less, guys. I'm going to say that. Five, 507 or 8 less, but Funko products last year. So, they scaled back. Um, I don't know if that's due to COVID. Uh, are you filming me or are you filming my shirt? No, I'm filming you. <laughs> my son keeps looking at the TV. So I don't know if that's uh, because they scale back because of COVID or because they're listening to the fans. And, oh, scale back, scale back, you're making too many. Uh, it could be that reason. I'm uh, interested to see what they're releasing this year. Um, I had a thought. It went away. So yeah, I'm interested to see how much uh, product they release this year. And if uh, the vaccine does what it's supposed to do, guys, I want to see if those numbers increase. Uh, there's a super virus. Of course there is. Always it, a super virus. There was one, there was a case found in New York and the same case found in... Uh, I'm not talking about uh, viruses, though. I know. So, I want to see if that number increases when this vaccine starts getting going to everybody or if it stays the same. Or if it decreases, because I just remember 2019, they were just releasing pop after pop after pop. And people were like, you know what? I'm just going to get the exclusives for those pops. I'm just going to get the Hot Topic, Box Lunch, FYE, GameStop, Walmart, or Target of these exclusives. You do the same this year. Nobody this year. This year just started. True. And I said 2020, they scaled back by, you know, 500 uh, products. Mm hmm because you know it uh, doesn't tell me on the Funko app because you gotta consider that's t-shirt bundles, Pez, keychains, mystery minis. You know I could have just uh, went to Funko related items and found out. But I just overall Funko as a whole has just scaled back 500 uh, from the year uh, 2020 from 2019. I think even 2018 they had the less pops. 2019. When there wasn't a pandemic going on, I gotta check my numbers on that, guys. But I think 2018 they didn't release as many for whatever reason. In 2019, they just get nuts. Dad, you only have 14 minutes, but okay, let me know when oh. I'm down to five. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're already almost down to five. You told me I have, four, I have 14 minutes left, yeah, and you almost used five minutes. No, you told me I have five minutes left. Of oh, video. no. Um, I don't know how 
have so much, or so little, I'm gonna need some more stuff. I need a computer, guys. <laughs> I haven't got one yet, evidently. I'm excited for WandaVision to come out though. So it's that Friday. was my thing about Funko. I think they're listening to the fans. They're giving us what they want. Um, I'm really upset about that because FOMO is going to kick in, guys, if that is true about limited number runs. Because a lot of these runs are hard to find. And it's, it's crazy. It's nuts. It's crazy. So anyways, what my wife got for me for Christmas. It arrived today. Hey. You didn't buy it. Was it with your money? My son so? suggested it. God, I guess I gotta give him credit. Hey, you gotta give me credit. I'm the one well, convinced to. mom. I convinced mom in getting, getting it. You convinced mom of nothing. You didn't convince mom of getting mystery box. <laughs> this is... God, she I almost did that. Resolution where it was, uh, two pops a year, but I love to do a mystery box battle with my wife. But if I order it, that's why, or not two pops, but two pops a month. So if I order it, guys, any kind of mystery box, it's probably going to be over that number. So. He has big credit with me, because if I wasn't here, you would have never got that pop. Well, guys, this is a uh, box lunch exclusive. But this is the overseas sticker. Mm. I wish it was the box lunch sticker, because the box lunch sticker, I think, says Earth Day. I'm going to see if my Eve is close enough for me yeah, to take it, it out. It says box Earth Day. No, she is not. And there goes my Wolverine pig pin. Uh, hold on a sec. Um, I wish they would have put stuff on Earth Day because of it. It does say the same thing back of the Eve one does. It does say the figure 20% uh, recycled material. Box, any recycled material, blister, window box, see which one one hundred percent recyclable. So everything basically about this pop is made from uh and the box is made from recyclable material. I have the E one. Um, I got that one at Box Lunch, so I'm surprised. My wife got this off Amazon Amazon with a special edition sticker. On the picture it showed the Earth Day one. Did it? Yeah. But I can find out that this product is not what it uh, shown. So, so I'm going to have to go on to Amazon because she is my account. I told her she needs to make her own account when she wants to buy me stuff. So you can't look. Stuff, that way I can't, yeah, I can't look. Um, Guys. I kind of guessed without looking anyways. <laughs> yeah. My son was really bad. I didn't know what. I got to get uh, my wife to confess because I was thinking about Funko Pops that I don't have. And the only one I had that I really wanted was the uh, Wally to go along with my Eve. So. Yeah, my mom told her and I told like her I said, not to you tell know, you. But she smiles when she lies. Yeah, so you. Uh, so. But you ruined the surprise. It would have been more of a surprise when it showed up. You're like, oh, I, mean, I don't know what this is. You're the one that came down here my mom got you something. You guys want No, my, uh, no, you're like, why do you need what mom's... And you guys need my you... login information for Amazon. <coughs> <coughs> so I am, uh... I'm happy she got it for me. It's something I really wanted. I'm a little disappointed that the, uh... Sticker that it is, especially when my son's telling me they showed the Earth Day sticker. Um... I don't want to send it back. I, it, that's the only complaint I have. I wish there was a box lunch sticker that said Earth Day event. Or something like that. Oh. Is that sticker made out of a recycled material too? The special edition? Probably. The box is 80% recycled, uh, recycled material. So, you know, guy, you know I, I have to have to get my e pop because I think the... Uh, I'll show that in the next video. Because I think that one uh, better. Because I'm pretty sure it does say Box Lunch Earth Day on it. And it's like your regular Box Lunch sticker. They made it like multicolor and it was really neat looking. So I think it was like blue and green for Planet Earth colors, you know. Alright guys, another thing I got was on New Year's Eve. So this didn't count for us by two pops <laughs> per month because that was my New Year's resolution. Did you purposely do that? Zombie Wolverine. Only at Walmart. I went there looking for a uh, pla uh, plastic tub. Oh, uh, yeah, tub. five minutes left. And this is what I got. Um, 
God, it's so hard to open these without ruining the box. We'll show them off real quick, guys, and I think that'll be it for the video. We know, it's fun because might be listening to us, going back products. I don't know, who knows? Limited runs. That's what you guys ask for, right? Not as many pop releases, limited run. Uh, don't make so many of them because, you know, then it's a toy, which I have a video on that disagreeing with why they're not toys. And guys, I do not like the zombie line. Hmm, uh, Wolverine. That's pretty cool. And this one is, yep, pretty cool. You can see his uh, Animanium skeleton coming through, especially his, there on his chin. Whole hand. And his hand, guys, is basically ripped off. But like you said, his skeleton is made out of metal. So this one might be an out-of-box uh, pop. You can even see his chest metal. I don't really care for the zombie line, guys. I'm not sure he does like um, this one, though. Like I said, I love Wolverine. With the, uh, you will not see me get the... Uh, Lucha Libre oh. Pops. Right. I've seen that Wolverine and I oh, like it. Oh, it was a Captain America figure. That's someone concept. Oh. I, I do not like it. I, I saw it. It would probably be the only Wolverine Pop I don't get. There's a few others I want that I can't get because, like I said, where I lived in Nevada at the time, not very popular, so I missed out on the non-bobblehead Wolverine. I missed out on the glow-in-the-dark Wolverine. Oh, man, I missed those ones. Uh, before we go, because we are talking about, you know, One zo uh, zombie pops, real quick. Guys, this has shot up to $90. Hey! Which I think is great. Because, uh, you know, the collector core, but not because of the price, because, guys, it's the. Uh, Red Skull, they made um, three pops of Red Skull. They have a normal uh, comic book Red Skull, which is like $510. I saw him. I should have got him this like a year or two ago. I should have got him at GameStop when he was still there. I didn't like it because I was collecting all the uh, MCU pops at the time. I should have got him anyways. Then um, oh, there's another Red Skull pop. I don't know, maybe it's just the one with him fighting Captain America. I'm not sure now. I'd have to check. Yeah, I then think there's it this is one, Red guys, Skull. because there's not many that say Red Skull. Because if you type in Red Skull in the Funko app, which I do, the uh, one from Infinity War won't come up. Because the one from Infinity War is called Stonekeeper. So there's like only like three, like I said, three of these total. I think the other one is uh, Captain America versus Red Skull. That's it. Yeah, Red Skull it is. Them. So this one. So guys, not very many Red Skull Pops, so that's why this one's probably climbing up in value. Everybody like kind of wants this one, and he's cool looking. So, believe it or not, this only kind of zombie Pops I like. There's something around me. And Mom wants the, uh... Oh, it's his head. Mom wants the Silver Surfer one. Oh, my wife likes the Silver Surfer one, guys, because it's not a bobblehead. Tim holding his head up. Um, next video, guys, we'll have my wife in. One minute. Well, you know what? One minute, I won't go into it. I'll, so, you know, if you like your first time here, hit the subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up. I'm gonna leave, leave a comment if you can. My son tells me you can't always leave comments, but if you can, leave a comment, guys. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.